Libra, hi. So this is going to be a reading for March 9th through the 15th. And I'll uh, take a look at your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box if you want. Felix is dreaming. I wish you could see what I see. Like charging. He's like he's like plugged in. Like I love to watch them when they sleep. Earlier, my dog was dreaming and. You could hear like, ash, ash. I'm like, okay. No, no, it's not Oscar, it's me. Sorry, did I wake you? Let's see, Libra. All right, so the overall energy for the reading, you get the full. Uh, it's looking like you're willing to take a chance here. In the current situation, everything looks perfect for you to do that. Huh? Interesting. Yeah, uh, somebody's willing to, to go for it here. Could be your person. Uh, let's see, in your recent past, you get the Two of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Moon. Um, there's something here, you couldn't rely on somebody. It's like you couldn't trust them that they can be there for you when the shit hit the fan, pretty much, you know? You couldn't trust this person um, to be reliable, pretty much, here. And that created a lot of confusion because you love this person, right? And it's like, okay, but why can't I trust them on the long run then? You know, they were hiding things from you. They were hiding the way they were feeling and they were hiding stuff from you. So that's why you couldn't really trust them that they would be there for the long run, for the long haul. Um, in your current situation, you get the Four of Wands, the Page of Wands and the Six of Cups. Things are aligning perfectly for you here, for you and this person. And I feel like it's this person that's stepping up to the plate. Um, it, this does look like a marriage proposal, to be quite frank, or things going to the next level, or to the first level, whatever level, you know, to some level. Sorry. What do I mean, sorry? You're on my table. Um, in your immediate future, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's some effort that you need to put into this, right? To, to set it, to set it in a good direction, to, to get it going. There's a little bit of effort, a little bit of sweaty hands, a little bit of, you know, work to put into this, to make it happen, to make it come to fruition, come into this reality space. Cause this, what's happening in the current situation, I see it more as an idea, as an, okay, we got it. We want this. How do we make it happen? You know, so the preparation of it, it's looking a little, it's not going to be pretty all the way, but you know, it is what it is. There's work in everything, right? So let's clarify. Let me clarify the full. You get the two of wands, the six of wands, and the chariot. Yeah, things are uh, things are heading towards uh, a very stable um, situation here in this connection in your life overall. All right, and it's happening fast. It's kind of taking you by surprise. It's like okay, I've been miserable for months, for years, for whatever, and things are starting to feel better and better and better and growing. And you're like, okay, okay. I got it. Getting the hang of this. Let me clarify the Two of Swords in your recent past. The Eight of Cups, the um, Hierophant, and the Emperor. Interesting. You left. You left. It's like I got so confused and it was so hard for me to make any kind of choices here. And it was so painful that I'm gone. Bye-bye. You know, it's looking like you left. 
a situation. You didn't want to leave. You didn't want to leave, but it was too much. You know, you, you it's like you you put up with too much. In regards to this connection. Um, let me clarify the moon in your recent past. The Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. So you are still trying to somehow keep this person in your life, right? I feel like you tried to tell them that. I feel like uh, that conversation didn't work out so well. Um, somebody didn't agree to the terms of you still being in each other's life, lives here you know i do see you wanting to offer friendship here and support and all of that but this person i don't i don't know if they took it or maybe it was the other way around let me clarify the four of wands in your current situation You get the Magician, the Ace of Cups, and the Tower. You scared me. But I felt that too. But don't do that because you scared me. Um, yeah, somebody's trying to come up with this brand new beginning. To revive this, to make it stronger, to make it better, this connection, it's kind of blowing up in their face, whoever's doing that. It's backfiring. It's like they lived in a cave, not really understanding that the other person may have moved on or may have tried to move on or something like that. Kind of like, let, let's pick up from where we left off and this person feels like the both of you are in the same place, you know, where the both of you left it off yesterday. And it's not the case. Somebody has done a lot of work, a lot of stuff going on in their life, and this person comes in like nothing happened. Uh, so, yeah. Hmm. Let me clarify the Page of Wands for your current situation. You get the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. I know it's you. I know it's you that wants to bring this beginning here. I know. Yeah. It's this person that wants to bring this beginning here. <laughs> it's them. I suspect that it's them, but um, it's confirmed here. That it's them wanting to work on this now you know, being ready for this now. Let me clarify the Six of Cups. Uh, that was me. Come on. Um, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the Star, and the Nine of Swords. Yeah. All you want right now is um, to work on yourself here, right? And it did come from this connection. You're given you're giving it the credit that it deserves, right? So this person pushed you into taking care of yourself, taking better care of yourself, and really enjoying, you know, giving yourself that love, that energy that you've put into this person, now you're putting into yourself. And this connection makes you feel sad, makes you feel like disappointed, sad, anxious. But when it comes to you, your well-being, it's more important at, the, at this time. So that's why things might blow up in this person's face when they're like, hey, let's do it again. Like, what? What? You know? Let me clarify. What do I want to clarify here? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's going to get stuck, possibly your person into wanting to bring the two of you together here. They're going to work on it. It's not good. So this is going to blow up in their face, but they're not going to give up. That's for sure. They want to fight for this. 
Let me clarify the Nine of Swords. It may be too late. This is what I'm getting with a lot of you. Maybe too late that this person is coming in. You get the Empress, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. You've grown a lot. You're still growing. You're still ascending. You're still taking care of yourself. You're still putting in a lot of work onto yourself, onto your material world, onto you. And that actually hurts this person. It's like they missed the train. It's like, when did I miss that train? Well, when you were supposed to, you know, hop on board. Uh, they're starting to realize that you may have evolved and they're not at the same level anymore. And that to them is like, oh my god, the end. Let me clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, walking away, walking away again. Uh, it could be them that are walking away when they're going to realize um, I'm not up to the standard you've built, pretty much. You know? So let me pull uh, some cards from the universe here for you. Yeah, this person is coming out, uh, coming out, coming to take you out of the cold here. It's looking like um, they're looking at this as, okay, I need to start a new life for myself and I need my Libra with me. So I need to go back to where I left them out there in the cold and get them back. And they're looking at this as finally a new life can start. I think you're going to burst their bubble, to be quite frank. So, I don't know. It kind of depends on each and every one of you. On It doesn't have to be this ending for you. If you want to say yes to this person, it kind of depends. So, not necessarily the case. I do see you being like, wait, what? Um, what? You're not going to even ask me how I was, what I've been doing, and things like that. You know, because it's, it's looking sudden. It's looking like... I own this, this is mine. No, you don't own me, you know, from your part. So, I, I don't know, kind of depends on each and every one of you. But um, that's what I got, Libra. I hope this helped, and I will see you next time. Bye.